the standard RCD tong, which is the most commonly used tong on uh, manipulators that are used with pharma, uh, radio pharma. And so it's generally it's very dexterous and, and light duty in, in f for the frictions that the operators see. But one comment that is that people generally do end up having if they're using it all day every day, the friction caused by the inner web of the boot. So as you're closing it, you can hear that the boot has to compress and move. And over time, that can cause some fatigue issues for operators. Um, the standard boot, though, so this is our CD tong, which means we can actually use it using a tool, either a tool with by hand, or we also make docking stations that can be mounted in the hot cell. So this can pop right off. So the tong would stay in the hot cell, and if you're replacing the boot, uh, then you, then you can pull the manipulator that way. You don't need to replace the tong every time. Uh, one option that we have now for the RCD tong is what we call a two-piece tong. So you can see the boot material. It stops right here, like right short of where the tong is. It's sealed to the manipulator, and there's actually would be an O-ring seal for the cables that go in through there too, so you do not have any air streaming through the manipulator and onto your product or streaming out in, into your operators. So the tong attaches inversely to how it re got removed, if it works right. Call it in an inverse backwards way of how you got it off. Yep. And so now you can see there's no boot material in here, so it's much more dexterous, easier to operate, and and over time, and operators are going to appreciate that from a hand and arm fatigue standpoint.